My name is Alan Hawes, and this is PSOC 101. In this lesson, I'm going to show you the pulse width modulator, or PWM functionality, of the TCPWM. This component generates repeating pulses on its output and lets you control both the period and the duty cycle. The duty cycle is the percentage of time that the output is high. A large duty cycle is a mostly high signal, and a small duty cycle is a mostly low signal. The PWM is really a special case of a counter. It detects rising edges on the clock input and increments a counter. You can set count values for the period and the compare. The period defines when a counter rolls back to zero and as a result sets the output frequency of the PWM. The compare value sets the spot where the output switches from low to high, which is how you control the duty cycle. In this project, we're going to use a PWM to control the intensity of the red LED. You can do this by blinking the LED with different duty cycles. When you blink very fast, your eye does not see the flashing, but it can detect the reduced amount of light being emitted by the diode. Varying the PWM duty cycle makes the LED appear brighter or dimmer. Make a copy of the counter project and delete the counter. Leave the input pin in the design. We'll be using it again in the next lesson. Find and drop the TCPWM based PWM. Rename it and set the period to 10,000. Set the compare value to any number below that so you don't get an error. The actual value that you set it to doesn't matter because you're going to reset it in the firmware. Generate the application so that the editor knows about the API functions. The C code is pretty simple. Just start the PWM and then change the compare value every second. Alternate the value between a very large and a very small number so you can really see the differences in brightness when you program the board. Go ahead and build this project for yourself. To test that you understand it fully, use the PWM to drive two LED pins. The line output also has a complement output called line underscore N, which is the inverse of the line output. If you connect that to the green LED, then it will be dim when the red one is bright and vice versa. Next, use the firmware to gradually change the compare value through the whole period of the PWM. Use the CY delay function with a value of 50 milliseconds and change the compare value by 1% each time so that it takes about 5 seconds to change from fully red to fully green. As always, you're welcome to email me at alan underscore hawes at cypress.com.